Hello everyone, this is the Blue Dragon Gamer, and we are playing level 3, Mother Gooseland. Uh, hey, Ogre! Uh, stop right there! Be you an ally with the Ice Queen? Oh, bet he is! He's all green and stuff. This means that you are under, uh, Under uh, arrest. Uh, Friends uh, of the uh, Ice Queen are not welcome here. The magic mirror has a message for Shrek. Merlin has conjured up a posse of evil fairies and commanded them to do random acts of evil. It would be great if you could capture them all and put an end to their malicious behavior. Capture all the evil fairies. Mirror, you use some pretty big words, commented Shrek. The magic mirror has been reading his paper. I read in the fairy tale gazette that the Easter Bunny got rich through some scam. It says in the paper that he's made gold eggs from his ill-gotten gains and hidden them so cleverly that no child could ever find them. Pretty clever, says Shrek. Children should never be denied anything they want. Find the hidden Easter eggs, replied the mirror. All right, I'll do it, Shrek says. As you can see, we have two missions to complete so far. Capture the evil fairies and find the hidden Easter eggs. Watch out for the soldiers pretending they are riding horses. I guess they can't ride the real thing. Be sure to get the easter egg between the two bell towers, you just need to do a wall jump off the bell tower on the left. Next, head through the gate where we see another soldier in a horse costume, another pushover as you can tell by his choice and outfit. Head over to the stone pillar and do a wall jump to get on a small ledge, here we find another easter egg. Next jump on the small wall and jump onto the walkway, follow it around to find another easter egg. Now we can head over to the house shaped like a shoe. On the other side of the wall, we see Humpty Dumpty with some egg kids. We'll find out what's going on here soon, but for now in the corner, behind the tree, we see a fairy to capture. Let's get it. Climb up on the house, shaped like a shoe, and across we see another easter egg to collect. I'm curious about who lives here. Everyone else seems to live in a small cozy house, but this person lives in a giant shoe. I'm guessing they live alone since there is no furniture and just enough room to stand. Best of luck to whoever lives there. By the Great Gander, we see another fairy by the water to capture. After capturing it, head over to the tree next to the archway. Do a wall jump off the tree to get on the archway. Here we find another easter egg. Now head over and talk to the Great Gander. Hey, excuse me, you there. Would you mind getting my children for me, please? As Shrek approached the nest of the Great Gander, he saw that something was wrong. My egg kids have been tricked by that wicked Humpty Dumpty character, the Gander explained. He's teaching them how to fall off walls. Shrek frowned. Really? I'll get them and put them back in your nest in no time. Kids shouldn't be running around with eggheads at this hour anyway. We are now given a mission to toss the egg kids into the nest. I can't believe that Humpty Dumpty would do such a terrible thing. His brain must have gotten scrambled when he fell off that wall. Don't worry, we'll be knocking some sense into him. Well, for some reason we can't get into the nest, so we will just have to carefully place them in from the outer edge. Humpty Dumpty will try to stop you, so hit him a few times to get him out of the way. Would you mind getting my 
you know what, I'm going to let Humpty Dumpty off with a minor beating because he did suffer from a tragic accident. One more to go. Hey, come back here. Hey, put them down. This completes tossing the egg kids into the nest. Uh, looks like you lost one. This one must be the rebellious one. There you go. Now we can head along the path. Heard the buzz over there? Seems the guards don't like you. Ever since the Ice Queen took over Sweetsville, the guards don't trust anyone. But I'm sure a strong, smelly ogre like you can set things right here and prove them wrong. You can start with getting my sheep into the corral and kick some wolf butt while you're at it. Bo Peep was just as charming as Shrek had imagined. As she explained to him that she wanted her sheep back in the corral, Shrek wondered what good the guards really did in this place. Maybe I should go and get them, he pondered, or maybe I should just kick some wolf butt myself. At any rate, the sheep needed to get back into the corral. After talking to Bo Peep, we are given a mission to corral Bo Peep's sheep. Don't worry about it right now. In the field, we see a fairy to capture. Looks like there is another fairy on the pumpkins. Let's get them. Okay, that one managed to get past me. Well, we'll just get this one then. Not this one, too. Now, where did they go? Aha. Okay, let's get the one by the tree first. The next one is on the pumpkins, and it will probably fly off when we get close. I knew that would happen. After capturing the fairies, head over to the barn. We'll jump off the silo to get on the barn. Here we see another fairy. We also see a golden egg on the silo. Just do a long jump to get it. Be sure to jump and not just run off the roof like me. Almost had it that time. Okay, steady. This completes finding the hidden Easter eggs. Now we can go capture the fairy, but first let's talk to the farmer. We do owe him for destroying some of his crops. Blasted dancing cow, Old MacDonald muttered when Shrek approached. He turned to the ogre. Since you're here doing nothing, could you get that darn cow over here? She appears at nightfall. Punch the big clock in the tower and you'll see what I mean. The farmer gave Shrek a word of advice. Give her some gas in the face, and she'll follow your lead, no doubt. Here we are given a mission to get the cow to Old MacDonald. I have to say, I've played a lot of video games, and this by far is the grossest and stupidest mission I've ever heard of. Don't let the mission title fool you. Basically, the mission is to fart in a cow's face. Yeah, you heard me. Real dumb, right? Anyway, this completes capturing the evil fairies, and we managed to get our max health increase. Let's start with helping Bo Peep and teach this wolf a lesson for hurting defenseless animals. That is something I don't stand for. Keep knocking out the wolf and then carry the sheep back to their pen. Yeah! 
This completes corralling Bo Peep's sheep. Now we can head over to the clock tower that is back where we started the level, but first, since our health is increased, let's grab a heart to fill it completely. At the clock tower, hit the clock and it will turn night for 39 seconds, which is kinda weird, but okay. Night falls, said Trek to himself. Those blasted guards have fallen asleep. No wonder the Ice Queen can do as she pleases with these lazy sods around. His eyes drifted to the twin bell towers not far from the clock. Maybe I should give them a good old-fashioned ring. That should wake them up. After hitting the clock, we are given a mission to wake up the sleeping guards. For now, let's help Old MacDonald and complete the stupid mission of farting in a cow's face. Here we see the cow. The cow is pretty fast, so you do have to hit it to get close enough to fart by it. This completes getting the cow to Old McDonald, even though we did not have to get it anywhere. Now head back to the clock tower and hit it again. This time head over to the two bell towers and wall jump on them to ring the bells. Be sure to alternate between the two. This completes waking up the sleeping guards. Seems like you weren't a bad apple after all. So, anyway, if you really want to get to the Ice Queen, we'll let you head on straight to Sweetsville. But be warned, their sales on chocolate are out. Now that is evil. The terror and mayhem we can take. After all, it's what you'd expect from a nasty villain. Yes, it's the pure evil of doubling the price of chocolate we can't stand. She's wicked, that one. No surprise, though. She used to partner with Merlin until she stabbed him Hope in the he back. Rots, wherever he is, and never gets out again. The Ice Queen is a breeze compared to his Tempest. We are now given a new move and are asked if we'd like to try it out. Uh, yeah. Let's get started. Jump down into the pit. We have now unlocked the Super Punch. Great! You're ready for anything now. Go back to the house and jump into the mirror. <laughs> Come on, jump into the mirror. <laughs> there are good deeds to be done. Jump into the mirror. <laughs> Be sure to save your game. This is the end of level 3, Mother Gooseland. <laughs>